If you wish to use ArtCam in a more traditional, artistic manner, then you can by using the various sculpting tools within the software. If you select the sculpting icon on the top toolbar, by default it will open the smoothing tool, which obviously smooths the relief. There is also smudge, which pushes material, deposit, which adds material, carve and erase will remove material, and multiply will copy a specified area. These can also be selected by using the shortcuts, which are the numbers one to six on the keyboard whilst the tool is open. All of the tools have basically the same settings with slight variations depending on the tool being used. The radius will affect the size of the sculpting tool. If you hover over the relief, you will see a shadow which will show the size of the tool selected. When increased, notice how the shadow becomes larger. This gives you an indication of what area of the relief will be modified. The strength setting is like how much pressure is applied when drawing with a pencil. The lower the value, the less that the relief will be affected. Here you can see a low strength smoothing, which is only slightly modifying the relief. The smoothness section affects the drop off of the tool. A smoothness of 1% will give a sharp 90 degree edge, whereas a smoothness of 100% will give a gradual drop to give a nicer blend when sculpting. I'll explain the behaviour section in a moment as I need to switch to the deposit tool so you can see what is happening better. Moving on to the mask section, you can specify a colour that you would like to either not sculpt or you would like to sculpt under that specific colour. A material safety plane can also be specified. This is if you do not wish to sculpt below a certain height and it is useful if you are smoothing for instance and you do not wish to roll onto the zero plane. Here you can see that I've set the material safety plane to one millimetre and it is now not rolling over as previously. Below there is a section called Sculpting Session. This allows you to take a snapshot in time of your work and you can then go back to that moment in time by using the Revert option. Here you can see that I've clicked Snapshot and then started going crazy with the sculpting tool. Now I may think to myself that this does not look very good and I want to go back. I can go back to the snapshot I took by selecting revert. Undo also works and if I wanted to, I could go back using the undo tool beyond the snapshot. Switching to deposit, the behavior has a mode area with three options. Normal is standard behaviour and will keep adding material when sculpting. There is also a limit and a stamp. Limit will allow you to specify a thickness which will act as a Z stop. So here you can see that I can only deposit at one millimetre high. There is also a stamp which will allow a stamp interval to be added which will in effect stamp the deposit tool down every time I move, in this case, 10 millimeters. Changing the distance to five millimeters decreases the intervals where the deposit is stamped. A scatter distance can also be added, which will randomize the deposits. The stamp mode needs to be turned off for this. The lazy brush option will create a lag of whatever size you type in and blends any moves that you do into smooth transitions. This is good to cut out judders when sculpting. The mirror X and mirror Y will create a mirror of whatever is being sculpted in the X or Y. Finally, an important option when using the erase tool, under behavior, 
This is set to erase to snapshot by default. So if you have just started sculpting, it will seem as though the erase is not doing anything. This needs to be set to erase to base plane. A useful tip, if you hold control down on the keyboard whilst erasing, it will have the opposite effect and start bringing material back when you click on the area that was erased.